Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weeklies. This is your 1 to 7, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and uh, Jupiter, December, okay? Um, I'm using Cartoman... I still had, don't know how to pronounce it. Cartomancy. Um, I believe it's older than tarot or even same age as tarot, okay? Um, so, for people who are not familiar, okay? So, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It's a form of divination also, okay? And this is not new, okay? People think it's new. It's not, okay? Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Scorp, let's begin. Got here. Oh, Nine of Cups. Hierophant. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's let's dive into this, Scorps. Okay, it's your seventh house. Okay. It's a party in the house of Scorpio. Nine of Cups, Hierophant, Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter is where? In Scorpio, Vedic Sideria. Okay? So let's uh, let's deal with this, okay? Okay. Um, let's take time. It's in Scorpio season, okay? Until December 16. Okay. So how does it work? Jupiter for the for the rising sign and the moon sign, okay, is in your first house. It also, of course, it would uh, how to say this? Um, it's aspecting one seven, okay? Because one seven is always important when looking at um, how to say this in houses. So, so that's your Rahu and Ketu at the same time, okay? So one seven, um, your you have your 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 Ju you have Jupiter over here aspecting seven, meaning it's blessing you a relationship. It's blessing you a lot of things. Okay, and uh, Scorpio, you have to be patient. I know you are patient and you're, you're patient, but the patience that you have only runs to, for example, one to one million. That's patient right there, right? But when you cross the one million part, it goes to negative three, t three trillion, okay? <laughs> Patience-wise is good, but you cross the line, okay? I become impatient, I didn't get what I want, it goes to negative trillion, okay? So basically, whatever you were patient before is useless, okay? And you lose technically what you were manifesting. But what you're manifesting is already upon you anyway. It's, it's, it's already been decided before you even step up here, okay? Because this is fate. Okay, you know, you didn't just decide today what you're gonna do. You've decided on it before you were even born. Okay, it's a wheel of fortune. You know, it's like they can't run on your making your decision right now. They, you've already processed this energy. So this is someone who's also gonna be committed to you. And this is your seventh house, Taurus energy, right? Hierophant. So regardless whatever their zodiac is, it's aspecting your chart. Okay, so that's why people can be drawn to you, want to be partner with you. But seventh house also is about business partnership. There's a lot of partnership in, in the seventh house, but more than that, it's also house of marriage. Okay, so that's why Hierophant is marriage. Okay, nine of cups though is getting what you have always wanted, provided that of course you you know like for example you have your Rahu and your water sign. It's Rahu and water sign for me with nine of cups. Okay, so Rahu or um, Rahu water sign or Ketu and water sign. Okay, uh, sorry Ketu, Rahu. K2, sorry, K2, K2, okay. But I believe, so some people are Rahu and K2 over here in water sign, okay. So I'm seeing here that can be them or you, okay. Um, in this lifetime right now, this is your karma. So some people's karma is really to be married. Some people's karma is really to be partner. This is that energy, okay. Can be a fixed sign also that you're dealing with. A first Taurus Leo Scorpio, okay. Now that's that part. Now let's begin, okay. Let's begin. Okay. Okay. So someone here can work for the government. Someone here is traveling to see you. You guys are going to go out on a date. Nine of Cups is an, an indulgent energy, meaning a celebration. Okay. This person will treat you nice. You will treat them nice. That's also a vacation happening. Okay. That's also um, getting an abundance. Okay. A new job is there also. A new contract is going to be signed. Let me see here. Okay. Savings will come come March. Okay, right now you're burning the you're burning. Ugh, look at that one. Mm. Hierophant again. Okay, because this 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 is a mix. Major Arcana and I'm playing cards. It's cartomancy for me. It's my uh, okay. It's not my own method, but it's the method. Okay, okay. So I shuffled it. Flip. Okay, so. Not sure if you're still gonna doubt yourself, whoever this is, but this is a destiny kind of thing that you will really have a relationship, you will really have a partner. Okay, that's your seven house. Okay, so um, let me see here Queen of Spades. Okay, it can be an air sign. Okay, it can be Libra. Okay, but I'm seeing here because this is your rising sign, Libra in the 12th house. 
okay venus is in libra you get it less you know like you probably a lot of your friends are already married everybody's already have kids you will get it less okay because it's aspect near 12. okay for scorps i always you know um not that always i kind of dive deep it's your house of i mean your your house is the tarot okay let's see here a jack of diamonds can be a younger person far from you okay but i feel here that this person has an idea on how to be with you this is a commitment like period commitment period okay there's no BSing around okay of course this is just an energy that they're younger vibration wise age wise you have an idea okay okay you have your death card mm -hmm. see this is your card transition a change is happening <laughs> you have death and uh, you have death and uh, hierophant again one seven okay I will keep repeating one seven because that's how you look for your partner okay you have five seven and then when you're together eight okay um so the death card over here is showing that once venus went direct okay um and i, be I believe venus stays there and i'm not sure if until january okay this is i believe that this is a big scope that we're picking up because wheel of fortune is a big energy major arcana so there's more movement coming your way okay let me see we're more defining of time on this one because wheel of fortune for me takes uh really shows me the time Jupiter basically shows me time. Okay, King of Diamonds, you see? Oh my god, like, look at this person. Um, keep, um, this person is basically trying really very, very hard. Okay, this is a strong Earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, um, that they're trying, not that they're trying, they will sh be sure to step up, you know, their game so that they can have you. I believe you're the Nine of Cups. You're desirable. People are drawn to you there. If you're in a happy mode, okay? A Scorpio that is a happy mode, they're very, very attractive. A Scorpio that is not happy, you don't want to be with them. <laughs> okay, this, this is the divide, and this is, okay, you got there, the magician, Jishta also, okay? So what you're vibing right now, you're creating this with you, okay? This has already been manifested. You can be a person who's doing some sort of um, manifestation, whatever, you know, you practice over here. You pray, you mantra, you cleanse. Um, this is also a person who's single who wants to be with you and who's willing to do everything and anything they have different aces they want to start something let me see what's the divide oh scorps is your season okay it was, is your season okay this vedic idea okay this aqua placement so definitely you have here right i'll show it to you guys okay well i'm gonna put this here because i don't want to see it nine of cups okay and you have here the star card Hmm. This mixed energy, meaning this mixed uh, divination, it it kind of like, um, how to call this? So in, in when you're reading, okay, I'll, I'll teach you guys. When you're reading, okay, for, for the people who's, who's uh, inquiry, for when you're reading, there are, for example, like two, three, four, five, you know, checklists that you would want. For example, the, does the tarot says it? Does the astro astrology says it? And then, you know, choose another divination. Sorry, I'm catching my breath. Okay, so if those three okay alignment manifestation uh you know same result then of course the prediction is kaput okay like this one this prediction is kaput also because I see planets I see two kinds of divination and then it aligns to one destiny you have wheel of fortune and the star card it's fated and destined two people to be together and the death card here is showing your time your time has come to have a relationship your time has come okay besides anything else your time has come there's gonna be a lot of scorpios gonna be off the market i mean in the period of the next year they will be depending of course aspecting and whatever planets that you have but majority would be because it's the time okay so this is it okay so very very positive i'm going to continue this reading as we move forward it's more going to be more i feel more of time um prediction i'm going to move forward with those energy and so check it out i'll see you guys again have a wonderful and congratulations whoever this is have a wonderful uh wonderful day bye